Azov Ro has great determination, a determination that made him face many enemies and dangers in order to achieve his own goals, not just his but his friends as well. Zorp has repeatedly demonstrated unshakable conviction, but there is a certain event in which Zav Ro risked everything, his dreams, his goals, and even his life to save someone close to him. In today's video, we are going to talk about Zav Ro, the event in which he demonstrated that Zav Ro has an unshakable determination in which he would risk everything to save the life of a friend and how this event happened. Guys, as we know, Zavro is a very important and powerful character. Currently, he is one of the most powerful swordsmen in the world of One Piece, managing to defeat several enemies with great ease, possessing one of the greatest physical strength and incredible mastery with swords. He even managed to injure one of the most powerful enemies in the One Piece world, known as the Hundred Beast Kaido. Zavro even managed to defeat King. Kaido's right arm, even though he was tired and his body was injured from the previous confrontation against Kaido, demonstrating that he currently has great physical resistance. However, it wasn't always like that. Many times Zavro was almost defeated by his enemies before the time skip, but that never left him shaken. Zavro still remained standing until he managed to defeat his opponent in search of making his dreams come true, confronting all the enemies that stood in his way so that his goals and those of his companions could be achieved. During the thriller Bark Arc, the Striat Pirates went through several difficulties, facing several enemies in which they tired several times, even managing to injure them. After several events in which the Straw Hat Pirate managed to defeat Taurus and even the Shichibi Kai Gekko Moria, the Straw Hat Pirate were completely exhausted from the various clashes they had on that island. But the dangers were not over yet. Bartholomew Kuma suddenly appears on the island with the objective of taking the lives of the Straw Hat Pirates. At this moment, Luffy was unconscious while Zavro and Sanji were too tired to be able to fight. Even though he is very tired and injured, Zavro tries to fight Kuma but Kuma just blocks all his attacks with his Nik you Nik you know me, leaving Zavro at a disadvantage. Kuma had control under that situation. No Straw Hat Pirate could do anything against him, not in that completely tired and injured state. Knowing that Kuma gave Zavro a choice, a choice in which he would demonstrate how faithful he is to his captain. Kuma tells Zavro to give up on Luffy, allow Kuma to take his life. This way he would allow the other Straw Hat Pirates to leave that island without any problems. Zavro the crew and the Thriller Bark Victims Association, all in one voice, refused, demonstrating that they would protect Luffy to the end, even if it cost the lives of everyone present on Thriller Bark. And so Kuma calmly detonated the island with Ursa's shock, knocking everyone out, demonstrating a small part of his great power. In doing so, he managed to retain their consciousness, while the rest were passed out and unable to do anything against Kuma. However, when Kuma was about to catch Luffy, Zavro rose as one of the only people not knocked unconscious and even launched a successful Shishi Sansan attack on Kuma, managing to injure the great Shichibi Kai's body and revealing his cyborg body. Kuma then stated that he is a cyborg, but not like Frankie, and furthermore explained that he was an incomplete human weapon created by Sakai Sifu and Dr. Viga Pink, called the Pacifista. Zavro then asked that his head be taken in exchange for Luffy's offering his own life so that his captain could survive, demonstrating that Zavro really was willing to risk everything just so that Luffy could still continue with his goal of becoming King of the Pirates, giving up even his dreams so that Luffy could still live, something which would cause Zavro to break two of his promises, the first to become the greatest swordsman in the world which Zavro made to his childhood friend, and the second promise that he made Luffy never lose again. If Kuma took Zavro's life at that moment, he would have broken those two promises he made in the past, which dishonored his legacy, becoming a swordsman who couldn't even fulfill his greatest promises. But still Zavro didn't care with that, as long as Luffy still remained alive. Kumar agreed to take Zavro's life, but at this moment, Sanji woke up and wanted to give his life in Luffy's and Zavro's place, willing to sacrifice his dream of finding All Blue so that his friends could live. Seeing Sanji stepping in front of him and allowing Kumar to take his life, Zavro quickly ends a swift blow 
blow to Sanji's wounds, causing the cook of the Straw Hat crew to be knocked out in a single attack. Kuma then thinks of something more interesting. He approaches Luffy's body, who was still unconscious, and uses the power of his devil fruit, taking all the pain and fatigue from his body, then forming a large red bubble in the shape of a paw, representing all the pain and tiredness that Luffy was in at that moment because of the previous fights he had in Thriller Bark, and his confrontations against zombies, wars, and even the fight against Gecko Moria. Luffy was in so much pain and fatigue that he formed a gigantic hoe of energy bigger than Kuma himself. So the Shichibukai gives Avro a choice, telling the swordsman that if he was able to withstand or even survive all the pain of his captain, he will allow the Straw Hat Pirates to leave that place. Kuma gave Zavro a small sample of the pain he managed to extract from Luffy, throwing a small fraction of that giant bubble of pain that was next to Kuma at Zavro. When he touched the small bubble, Zavro felt a great pain go through his body, if he making it almost impossible to bear. Kuma then stated that if Zavro received Luffy's injuries, he would definitely lose his life, as Zavro was already completely tired and totally injured because of the combat he participated together with his captain Luffy, so he really could lose his life. Zavro then took the pain pull and went to a nearby forest. He took a deep breath before placing his hands inside the giant paw, causing his entire body to receive a huge jolt of pain. When the Straw Hat crew woke up along with the rolling pirates, Kuma was no longer there. He had left after Zavro fulfilled his challenge, which meant that Zavro was in danger after enduring Luffy's pain. Knowing this, Sanji went to look for Zavro and found him in the forest still conscious, surrounded by blood in addition to being covered in blood from head to toe. But Zavro was still standing with his arms crossed, standing in a totally serious pose, with his eyes all red and not being able to move a single step as his whole body was feeling incredible pain. But Zavro didn't want to let the pain show. When Sanji asked what happened to him, Zavro replied that nothing happened with a trembling voice, demonstrating that all of Zavro's strength was gone, unable to do anything after his sacrifice so that his crew and his allies would remain alive. Afterwards, all the Straw Hats tended to Zavro's wounds. Because they couldn't leave that island because of their injuries, especially Zavro's, they slept in the Thriller Bark Mansion. Chopper says that Zavro's injuries were fatal, so it would be necessary for him to rest until Zavro recovers and regains consciousness, as Zavro had passed out after receiving pain from Luffy. Two days later, Zavro woke up. After some events, the Straw Hat Pirates celebrated the victory against Moria and Brooks entry into the crew. So in this way, they left Thriller Bark in search of new adventures. As we can see, Zavro's determination is very great, being able to risk even his life and his dreams for his companions to continue their journey to make their dreams come true. Although Zavro has already done similar feats to this, risking his life to save the life of a comrade, putting his dreams in jeopardy so that his friends are safe. This event in Thriller Bark was the most remarkable in history, proving to us that Zavro, although he has this characteristic, would be and many times arrogant. He cares about all his friends, willing to give his life for them. Zavro even demonstrates that he is willing to put his dreams aside in order to make his friends achieve their goals, being one of the Straw Hat Pirates who most risked his life for the sake of his crew. So there may be a possibility that Zavro will lose his life in the future so that his companions can stay alive, since he has proven himself several times to be able to do something like that. Zavro really lives up to his title as the right-hand man of the Straw Hat Pirate crew, being the one who defends his entire crew regardless of the situation, being worthy of being the one who will lead alongside the future King of Pirates, Monkey D. Luffy.